Hi everyone, this is Dr. Nitin Choda with Ignition Time and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for making our channel one of the fastest growing channels online in the world of current affairs, politics, in the world of personal finance, stimulus news and unemployment benefits. Now, I've done many videos talking about updates to the stimulus check, talking about updates to the unemployment benefits. But this video is part of a new video series called the Financial Freedom Series, the new world of money. I want my viewers and subscribers to understand exactly how to make money exactly how to save money and exactly how to invest money for a better future. Now, you know, we need to re-engineer some of our attitudes, some of our mindsets towards money, which is exactly what this video is about. In this video, I'll specifically talk about the concept of gratification. Most of us have a need for instant gratification. We want that fancy watch. We want, you know, we want a nice car. We want the expensive things that you know that you can get by the way speaking of fancy just so that you know as far as i'm concerned for me money is a tool that in turn makes me more money this shirt that you're looking at this is a 15 dollars shirt from groupon one five this shirt that you're looking at this watch that you're looking at is not a branded watch this particular watch is a 29 dollar watch from Amazon. It's a $29 watch from Amazon. If you guys want the link to the watch, I'll just give it to you. For me, I look at money as a tool to simply make me more money. My money is in real estate. My money is in my business, which in turn makes me more money because I made a lot of sacrifices initially. Uh, I was never interested in short term gratification so that I could get the long term benefit. So in this video, I'm going to talk to you about the difference between short term gratification and long term benefit. There are fundamental differences between those who make money work for them and between those who work for money. By the way, let me be clear. I'm not saying one is good and the other is bad. I'm simply going to give you the differences because a lot of individuals who don't have money won't even take the time to share these things. I'm sharing it with my viewers and subscribers because I want to give back to my community. If you don't know anything about me, once again, my name is Dr. Nitin Choda. Check out my introductory video. I have the fortune, the privilege, the honor of living the American dream. I'm a symbol of American exceptionalism. I'll never get tired of saying that, never ever. And I'm a beneficiary of American generosity. So because I've had the fortune, the privilege of being successful, I have my own rags to riches story. I want to pay it forward to my viewers and subscribers, which is why in this video, I'm going to talk to you again about the difference between short term gratification and long term benefit. Short term gratification is the need to wear designer watches. This watch may look like a designer watch. By the way, if I hadn't told you that it wasn't a designer watch, you probably wouldn't know that's the benefit of spending money on things that look nice but aren't necessarily very expensive and I don't honestly care about wearing a designer watch which is why I told you that this watch is inexpensive by the way I like this watch and it was you know not expensive that's why I bought it and so um, the, 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 the thing that I've noticed in individuals who um, don't have a lot of money working for them, in other words, they don't have savings, they don't have uh, investments working for them, is that those individuals spend a lot of money on short term gratification. You want the nice car, you want the nice watch, you want the expensive shirts. Um, you know, you want expensive things in and around the house. You want that expensive bike. You want those, you know, you want, you want those fancy gadgets, which, you know, uh, look, let me be clear. I do think we should indulge if we can afford it. If we can afford it, we should definitely indulge in the things we like, but we need to be very selective about how we use our money because the way I look at it, every dollar that's spent could have been reallocated elsewhere. In fact, I want you to write this down, get a sheet of paper out and take, grab a pen, and write this down. Every dollar that's spent could have been allocated elsewhere. I want you to really think about this because once you start thinking about money as not just a transactional thing, not just, hey, I need money to buy this or I need money to buy uh, to pay rent. I need money to keep the lights on. I need money to buy food. I want you to look at, you know, look at money and say, hey, can this money actually make me more money? And this, by the way, brings me back to the difference between short term gratification and long term benefit. Once again, short term gratification and long term benefit. Individuals who seek short term gratification 
are constantly spending money as soon as it comes in so that it brings them some sort of benefit. Maybe they spend it on expensive food, expensive wine, like I said, expensive watches, expensive clothes or, you know, cars, things like that. And then they find themselves deeper and deeper in debt. In other words, they end up using money to give them that instant gratification, that instant feel good, that instant happiness, if you will. But then they lose sight of the fact that had that money been reinvested or had that money somehow been invested, how do you how do you invest? I'll talk about all that on my channel, but this is a broad concept here. This is not a video where I'll solve all your, you know, all your uh, financial and investing questions in one video. It, you know, it takes time to build a base of knowledge, which is what this channel is about. But individuals who take money and invest it, individuals who try and get a long term benefit, it could be starting your own business. It could be, you know, investing in some dividend bank stocks at a good price. You don't just buy any stock at any price. It could be investing in rental property. It could be investing in pretty much anything where your money grows and where your money essentially builds on itself. Um, to have your money grow requires you to sacrifice on short term gratification or to save money on short term gratification. I could have I could have bought an expensive Rolex watch for several thousand dollars. You know, I can do that, but I didn't want to because I for me, that's not important. I would rather take that several thousand dollars and apply it towards a down payment down payment on my next single family home that I'm going to buy. And so that's the way I look at it. I, I, I don't feel the need to spend lots of money, several hundred dollars on a designer shirt when I can get this shirt. And, you know, I, I believe I carry it off well. Um, and, you know, I can buy this shirt for 15 bucks on Groupon. So, you know, who cares how what the shirt costs? You know, it, it, you have to feel good. You have to feel good with what you have and you have to carry it off well. And so therefore, you don't need to spend a lot of money to do that. That's that's pretty much it. In fact, I would say the, the most expensive accessory right here, just so that you're clear, this, this shirt is $15 on Groupon. This jacket, I believe, is $35 from Kohl's. This American flag right here uh, cost me $15. It's a, it's a magnetic thing that I got on Amazon. These glasses are about $70. So these glasses are probably the most expensive thing I have on me. And that, that's, that's pretty much it. So you don't need a lot of money to feel good to project, uh, you know, to project whatever it is that you want to project. But you do need to have an approach towards money, where you're willing to compromise on short term gratification, so you can have a long term benefit. Um, so you have to ask yourself any money that you get, whether it's you know, unemployment benefit money, whether it's money through your job or whether it's whatever money that you're getting. Can you use that money for a long term benefit? Can you invest it? Can you use it to start a business? Um, what can you do with it so that it makes you more money? Can you hire someone? You know, let's say you're an independent contractor and, you know, you get nine hundred dollars for a gig. Can you hire someone to to do that work for six hundred dollars? You know, that's where you make you make your profit. So you have to start thinking of money that way. And I do want my viewers and subscribers to think more in terms of long term benefit as opposed to short term gratification when it comes to money. Let me know in the comment section below what you thought of these concepts. Do you believe that you can use money for long term benefit as opposed to short term gratification? Please let me know. I love hearing from our community. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. My name once again is Dr. Nitin Choda. This is some information about me. I have the fortune, the honor, the privilege of living the American dream. I am a beneficiary of American exceptionalism. And I invite you to click like, to subscribe, to enable notifications and become a part of our growing community. Our, our channel is one of the fastest growing channels on the Internet in the field of personal finance, current affairs and politics. So I would really appreciate having you on board. We release videos at 2 p.m. East Coast time most days of the week. Follow us on Instagram. Our Instagram handle is ignition underscore time. Again, our Instagram handle is ignition underscore time. Get your cell phone out. Send a text message with the word ignition or with the word time to 70,000. That's 70000. And you can get on our SMS list. Now, you can also get on our email list if you want. And in order to get to on our email list, just go to ignitiontime.com forward slash alerts. That's ignitiontime.com forward slash alerts. And then you can get on our email list. You can opt out of our SMS list or our email list at any point in time that you want. Now, sometimes YouTube does not 
not send out e uh, so does not send out notifications so what you can do is just bookmark youtube.com forward slash ignition time that's youtube.com forward slash ignition time and then you can bookmark our home page and then you can visit our home page and you'll see whatever all the videos we release and you'll never miss a single video so make sure you do that thank you so much for watching once again my name is dr nitin choda please click like please subscribe please enable notifications it really helps out the youtube algorithm it helps me and my team um you know it's your vote of confidence in the work that we do to provide you this content that is hopefully positive beneficial and that hopefully changes your life thank you so much for watching i'm looking forward to seeing you in the next episode of ignition time take care bye